What is going on, leaguers? Welcome to the Spectacular Spoiler League. I'm the Pandan Superman, the mayor of Hype City Hazy Room, and as always, I'm joined by the Gotham Knight, the Prime Minister of Post Production, Deep Voice, and today we are in the Hall of Spoilers to talk a little bit about Uncharted the movie. <laughs> Say what? It's it's finally in the works. It's finally I, in the works. I wouldn't say I wouldn't phrase it that way. Let's just say it's in the works, starring none other than your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, Tom Holland, everybody. Oh, nice. This makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> came out of left field. Left field. I mean, it didn't even come out of left field, man. It came out of, like, the Infinity Gauntlet or something and zapped us in the face and just changed the whole universe or something. <laughs> man. It's, I don't get this at all. It was completely random. But that being said... We got to talk some pros and cons, baby. We got to weigh the the good and the bad with this Uncharted movie. Because some people, you know, are automatically hating. Okay? Yeah. You know, but maybe there's some reason for good, man. Maybe this is a good thing. Hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> but Deep Voice, man. Let's let's start. We like to start off on the bright side. Here's with a pro of having Tom Holland, Uncharted movie, directed by Sean Levy. All right? Hit us with a pro, man. Well, first pro is this has the potential of being a long franchise here. We could have ourselves not one, not two, not three, not four, not okay. five, All not right, six. Take it easy, LeBron. All right. <laughs> but All right. a number of uh, Uncharted movies. Uh, and yeah, you know, we have problems with sequelitis and all that, but... Tom Holland here. I looked it up. He was born in 1996. God <laughs> so, damn. So he's 20 years old. He's making uh, me feel old with that. Wow. <laughs> he's 20 years old. And I think they casted him not only because, you know, he's got a future. He's probably shook the right hands in the industry. He's also sure. going to be a household name being that he's going to be Spider-Man. Uh, but they're planning on doing a young Nathan Drake story. At least the first movie. They're going to start him off young. As Nathan Drake, and then they're gonna move on forward into the future. And I guess they're just gonna age him in real time, I guess. I mean, hey, why not? Well, I'm gonna swing it over to the cons. I'm gonna be Mr. Negative here, man. <laughs> Tom Holland, yes, there's potential for a, a long franchise, but Tom Holland isn't just young. Hmm. He looks really, really, really young, bro. Yeah. Like, he looks, I'm pretty sure I hung out with his doppelganger in like seventh grade. Like, he, <laughs> he looks. Really young, man. And, you know, seeing him grow into Nathan Drake over time, I don't know if people are gonna gonna want to take that 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 stroll and take that journey. Maybe, maybe not. Who's to say he's even gonna grow into the, the charming swashbuckling hero that is Nathan Drake from the, the Uncharted games of fame? You know what I mean? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I'm a little unsure about that one, man. Yeah, I mean, but. I I kind of agree because it 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 works for Peter Parker, sure. But you know, Nathan Drake is he's suave. You know, what I'm saying he's not very uh, he's not geeky. Yes, kind of like how Tom Holland usually plays it. But I've never seen Tom Holland in anything else, so maybe maybe he True. just kind of plays it up as Spider Man. So we'll have to kind of look into that, I guess. I mean, he is British, which means he must be related to James Bond, which means <laughs> he's probably got some smoothness up his sleeve, man. You know yeah. what I mean? Just come out there, hey, everybody, yeah. I'm Nathan Drake. Yeah, I think he's uh, Idris Elba's younger brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next pro, Deep Boys. What we got for pros, man? Yeah, well, the director, like you stated earlier, is Sean Levy, who uh, we'll get into his filmography but most recently he worked as an executive producer for the hit netflix show and a show that i liked when i saw it on netflix stranger things and he directed two episodes one was episode four the body one was episode three holly jolly and episode four the body which sounds like <laughs> the name of an album holly jolly the body <laughs> uh and those episodes if i remember correctly that's when things kind of started getting you know started kicking in to the supernatural stuff because the show's kind of supernatural but mm. um you know again we'll talk about some of his slip-ups i guess or some of his his not so reputable filmography but he could be uh on the upswing and like we've seen with a number of marvel movies they take people that are just hungry they're just waiting to have that hit they're looking for those james guns out mm. there 
to kind of hand them a movie and then just kind of run with it and it be you know have it be their first big project even though this would not be his first big project he has done a lot of movies but mm. you know th- this has a potential of being uh a fun movie, a fun franchise, and and the Indiana Jones uh, for this generation, for the young kids out there. D boys, man, I hate to be Mister Negative, <laughs> man. Sean Levy is a pro, man. <laughs> He's also a huge con, brother. <laughs> huge, man. You talking about? We want to talk about filmography, man. Mm. All right, here, here we go, guys. Here we go, y'all. Uh-oh, okay, bear with me. We got cheap about a dozen, one and two. Bong bong. No, no, take the bongs away. <laughs> <laughs> the only re- the only way you enjoy that is if you smoke it from some bong bongs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Pink Panther, okay? <laughs> the Night at the Museum trilogy. Uh-uh. Okay? Mm. Date Night. <laughs> Wait, there was a trilogy? <laughs> there was a trilogy, bro. You didn't hear about the Battle of the Smithsonian? You didn't hear about the Secret Tomb? Night at the Museum? Come on, man. <laughs> this, these are the... <laughs> These are all heavy hitters right here. I mean, you're going mean, to need to be put into the tomb after watching all three of those movies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the list goes on. Basically, you know, some of these movies you could argue, like Night of the Museum made a lot of money. You can't hate on that. And Sony, yeah. if Sony is about one thing, it's about making money. Mm. And sometimes their franchises are bad, but they like stacking that paper. So you can't hate on that. But these movies literally define mediocre you know what i'm saying like when you think of like middle of the road movies that you know you wouldn't necessarily pay for you know you wouldn't necessarily want to go to movies to pay for maybe if you got kids or something you would go or maybe if you you're on a date you might take them take a girl out to see the movie with you or or a significant other out to see the movie with you mm-hmm. but these ain't like movies you trying to you trying to hit up man so <laughs> i mean real steel was really the only movie i see on here that was actually like really good I mean, I'm sure there's other ones that I haven't checked, but I mean, Sean Levy, man, you you you're a con, man. I'm sorry. I don't. I haven't seen Real Steel. Maybe we'll hear about it in the comments. But you know, it's probably. I mean, you know how the internet is. So maybe Real Steel, Hugh Jackman. That was a good movie, man. Robots knocking each other in the face. Evangeline, who? fine ass Lily. I mean, come on, man. Hugh Jackman. Anthony Mackie is, was in there who too. Who the heck is Hugh Jackman? Yo, get this, <laughs> get this man out of here, man. You mean Wolverine? <laughs> <laughs> slogan man uh, on to the next pro <laughs> what we got d-boys uh well as, again, know what that means there is i guess some talent that tom holland has shown as spider-man particularly as peter parker with the quips and the funny lines and mm. and the laughs and then being a kid and then fighting captain america and then more quips and then getting his ass beat and then joking about it that could be translated over to a nathan drake in an Uncharted movie, because as we know, if you haven't, first of all, if you haven't played Uncharted, any of them, go play them. Stop playing. Mm. Stop kidding yourself. Yeah, for real. Seriously. Like, we're avid gamers. Me and Deep Boys are like avid gamers, and Uncharted is so, some of the funnest gaming you could ever have. Absolutely. Truthfully. So, um, you know, Nathan Drake takes uh, off of Indiana Jones, who's very similar, very sarcastic, you know, gets his ass, he, he barely makes it. When he's out there fighting, uh, fighting evil, I guess, and is always joking around and always being very, very sly, very Han Solo-ish, or I guess I don't know, very t- um, Harrison Ford-ish, because he has a lot of characters that kind of like this. But anyway, mm. Nathan Drake is always joking around, and Tom Holland, he definitely, I mean, it seems like he was very well received. I thought he did a good job as Peter Parker. And, Indeed, and we'll see in Spider-Man: Homecoming how that does. Oh yes, so I think he would work very well, at least as a young Nathan Drake. Doing the same thing, kind of jumping from rooftop to rooftop, sneaking behind uh, corridors and doors and, and alleyways and, you know, taking out guards from from secret uh, uh, compartments or, I don't know, coming out of cabinets. I don't know what kind of crazy stuff they're going to have him doing yes, this Yes, cabinets. <laughs> That's Nathan Drake's forte right there. While he's treasure hunting, he pops out of a cabinet and gets you. That's that's his, you know, popping that's out. his special move, man. I mean, Nathan Drake is the guy. He pops out of the, the cardboard boxes, right? <laughs> I don't know if you're talking about Nathan Drake or the Indian in the cupboard. (laughs) But regardless, regardless, he's a very quick-witted character. And Tom Holland, he's very good with the fast quips and the fast lines. Uh, And that's definitely a pro. If you're really trying hard, because I'll be honest, it takes a little bit of suspension of disbelief to kind of see Tom Holland in that role. Since, uh, um, Since I'm blanking on the guy's name that did Nathan Drake. 
the uh, voice. Nolan North? Yeah, yeah, since Nolan North did such a good job, Nolan North and Nathan Drake are kind of synonymous. It's kind of hard to separate those two and see somebody else as Nathan Drake. But you can see some of those characteristics kind of popping up out of Tom Holland's, Tom Holland's uh, previous performances. Before I swing it over to a condo, mm-hmm. they better have a Nolan North cameo. Mm. If they don't, it's it's a bus. I'm calling it a bus. They don't have a cameo from Nolan North. I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be tight. That's, All right. That's a good point. I didn't think of that. It's a good point. But but anyway, over to the cons. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you're talking about quips going well as Nathan, you know, as 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 Tom Holland's Nathan Drake mm-hmm. uh, is concerned, but. The Nathan Drake most people know and love, most of the gamers, most of the fans who would be excited about this, mm-hmm. is an adult man, mm. and he makes adult jokes and a joke, adult references, True. and he says adult things. True. Uh, I mean, that being said, that's not to say Tom Holland can also be, you know, a little bit older than his age, if you will, True. playing Nathan, a young Nathan Drake, because you can definitely, if you play the games at all, young Nathan Drake was definitely <laughs> beyond his years in terms of his attitude. I mean, he um, was he was uh, out and about. In Colombia, of all places. Yeah, like he was. He was. He was not living the normal uh, teenager life. But I mean, the, the fact of the matter is, you know, I don't know if people are gonna want to see a kid Nathan Drake because the Nathan Drake that's endearing to us is this adult who has very real problems. Like he cannot settle down, and he craves this adventure and this action, and it potentially, you know. It, it, it serves to potentially ruin his life when you build up to all the way to Uncharted 4. So, I mean, I, I suppose you can show that growth over time in a series if you have, if you start with the young Nathan Drake. But I feel like the, the endearing character we know is the flawed adult that we see in the games. Hmm. The flawed, charismatic adult that we see in the games. True. But anyway, on to the next Pro Deep Boys. Hit me with your best shot. <laughs> Well, as we got news of about this Uncharted announcement, uh, they made it clear that there's going to be both a movie starring Nathan Drake and also a movie starring Sullivan, or Sully as he's known in the Uncharted uh, games, and I guess it's going to be the beginnings of their relationship. You know, mm. a, a young, well, not a young Sully, but a younger Sully, because he's an older gentleman in the Uncharted Yeah, he's pretty much games. always been old. <laughs> yeah. But he's going you know, to be his younger, more suave self as you see him in Uncharted 3. Sure. Uh... So, the, you know, it's, it's, it's not a stretch to say that the relationship between Nathan Drake and Sully is probably one of the best relationships in games, in my opinion. Mm, so I agree. So I agree with that. To see two awesome characters from the jump build their relationship, get to know each other, and then see that in this first movie and see that evolve over this franchise that they pro- probably planned on building. I mean, again, if you're getting Tom Holland... He's probably, you're going to have to call him the franchise at this point. Because at this age, with what he's got on his plate, whatever movie he's going to be in, I'm pretty sure he's going to be a franchise starter. He's going to be in sequels, trilogies, all that. So they're definitely going to take as much advantage from this Uncharted franchise, from this Uncharted license, by starting off with Nathan, doing a good movie with Nathan and Sully, working together. Uh, And that's nothing but good. Because those are... I mean, that's kind of why you play the Uncharted games, to see not only Nathan Drake by himself, but his relationship with his supporting cast. Most importantly, Sully. Mm. All right, well, I mean, that being said, just by what we know about the movie, yeah, they stay sticking to the source material by having, you know, the Nathan Drake and Sully relationship at the the forefront. Mm -hmm. But it seems to me like there may be potential for a deviation from the source material. Mm -hmm. And that's a dangerous game because, you know, they established, you know, uh, Nate and Sully meeting in, in, as you said, I believe, Columbia. Mm-hmm. And I fear that they're just going to deviate so much from the source material because they're they're thinking about planning for the future. Because with starting with this young Nathan Drake, the obvious idea, the obvious mindset is that, OK, eventually we're going to get to the Nathan Drake, you know, and love. Mm-hmm. But. Along the way, I, I, I just I have that fear that they're going to deviate from the source material just from the sheer fact that instead of starting off with a Drake we know and then doing a prequel, they're like, oh, we're going to start with this young Drake right now. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, uh, you know, in the words of, of Adam Jensen, yo, I didn't ask for this. Man. <laughs> I never asked for this, man. I didn't. I don't. I just I have that fear that they're going to deviate from the source material uh, just from the fact that they're like, we're deliberately gonna go against what you already know by having 
a, a Nathan Drake that you're not familiar with that, you know, takes you outside of, of what you know. And also, it seems like they're retelling the story of how he met Sully in the first place. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, eh. Mm. True. I don't know about that, sir. I don't know about that, man. But you know what? I'll, I'll counter that with another pro. Okay. Now, see, it would be maybe a little awkward and probably even a little difficult if they did a movie, the first movie, with an adult Nathan Drake. And then all of a sudden they switch it up and they do a prequel at some point in time with maybe Tom Holland or somebody else. Whole movie with uh, Nathan Drake and they, you know, they do a story where he first meets Sully. I guess they just want to make this as simple as possible and just start from the very beginning and then just build from this. Well, I wouldn't mind if they did something like almost like dual storytelling where they tell like a parallel story between present day and past Nathan Drake with Tom Holland playing the younger Nathan Drake. I wouldn't mind that, but they mm-hmm. straight up going young. But that's see, that's easier said than done. True. That is easier said I, than I done. I very much and, agree with that. And with them starting so early on, they could take advantage of another amazing character that we got kind of late in the franchise, which is Sam Drake, the brother of Nathan mm. Drake, which... In Uncharted 4, they did exactly what you just said. Yeah. But again, ga- uh, written pieces, not even just games, but written pieces like Uncharted 4 are very few and very far between. So maybe they're going to take the advantage of have a movie, Nathan and Sully. Then the next movie, Nathan, Sully, and Sam. And then they introduce Chloe and introduce this other character. And then just start putting in all these other characters. And then you kind of grow with them chronologically. Okay. So. All right, man. Yeah, 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 you're winning me over here. <laughs> we winning the battle. I'm not completely against this. I never was. But I got one more potential con. Uh-huh. And that is, how do you fight the uphill battle that they're going to have with the inevitable Indiana Jones comparisons hmm. that are going to come about with the Nathan Drake character? Because Nathan Drake is very <laughs> much inspired by Indiana Jones. Mm. Like true? the Uncharted franchise was very, like, Naughty Dog has already has admitted, Naughty Dog is a developer, if you're unfamiliar, Naughty Dog is a developer of, of uh, Uncharted. They've already admitted that Indiana Jones is what they've kind of, you know, taken uh, inspiration from. How do you fight that 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 uphill battle? Or movies like you mentioned when we when we were talking about this, uh, uh, National Treasure, like these, these swashbuckling uh, treasure hunter movies. Like, how do they avoid the, the, the trope of, you know, uh, action-adventure movies that pale in comparison to Indiana Jones. For example, like some of the Tomb Raider movies. True. Take inspiration from it, but they're not quite as good, man. Hmm. That's true. Tell me how, man. How? You ain't got the answer, Sweat. Well, I mean, just like when The Force Awakens came back and there was they did the whole 30-year time period, I think there's been enough time between the first three Indiana Jones movies. We're not going to include any other nonsense there. No offense. <laughs> uh, but there's been yeah, enough... Kingdom of the Crystal Skull <laughs> get some hate right now. All I got to say is, if you're ever in a nuclear attack, get in your fridge and you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> but I think there's been enough time between this possible in charge franchise and the Indiana Jones movies. And, and funnily, funnily enough, I think... Something that Tom Holland did as Spider-Man in the Civil War movie kind of proves my point. And it was kind of funny, mm. but also kind of a bit of a realization for some of us older people, especially people that are in their 30s and even 40s. Yeah. He, when they had the scene where he mentioned, oh, let's do that thing from that movie where they take the legs out of those robots. And then people were like, wait, you oh, mean those, Star Wars? Those... <laughs> <laughs> and he used the, the term thingies in describing yeah. what the, the AT-ATs. And for us, that might sound crazy, but there are a ton of kids out there. A ton of, hell, like adults at this point. I mean, Tom Holland's an adult, even though he was born in 1996. Uh, there's a ton of these kids that don't know a goddamn thing about Indiana Jones. So this will be sort of their Indiana Jones. I, I think the time, the time is right. The time is right, and I, and I think they're so far removed that if this franchise, be, you know, is done well, and then there is another Indiana Jones movie coming out, and let's say that Indiana Jones movie comes out, there's a, there's a chance that this Uncharted franchise, this, this film franchise, will be better received than this, you know, the next Indiana Jones film. As crazy as that may sound, just because it's it's so far removed. All right, man. 
I got one more. I got a pro for you. I'm switching gears here. I got a All pro right. for you before we wrap up this video. Mm -hmm. At least this movie is not starring Mark Wahlberg, man. Ah, I was going to say. And I was potentially gonna say, Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci, who are all tied to this movie. I, I was going to say that was my biggest con, and the reason I'm just not going to watch this movie. Because... Get the heck out of here, man. <laughs> get Mark Wahlberg out of here. No offense to Robert De Niro, but get him out of here, too. No offense to Joe Pesci, but get him out of here also, man. Mm. I'll take this over that trash. That was that hot garbage we were gunning at, man. But it, <laughs> anyway, guys, what do you think about the Uncharted movie starring Tom Holland, a.k.a. Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man, a.k.a. the boy who's 20 but looks like he's 13? What do you guys think of the movie? Let us know if you're looking forward to Uncharted. Let us know if you play the Uncharted franchise and what do you think of the games. Let us know if you want us to talk more about games because we love talking about games. And uh, we almost love, I mean, I, I'm pretty, I love games more than comics. I'll keep it a buck. Fitty. Yeah. So let us know if you want to want to hear us talk about that. But in the meantime, we need you to join up with the Spectacular Spoiler League. Hit subscribe next to this video. Check us out. Love us. Hang with us. Talk with us. Chat with us. We'll see you guys on the next one. We getting out of the hall of spoilers, y'all. Peace.